Hey guys, I've had many people asking me how to set up the APN settings for their carriers. So I'm going to be showing you how to set up the APN on Android software based phones. It will vary from phone to phone depending on the models, but for the most part it will be the same. Also note the phone will have to be unlocked for you to make use of the APN settings. So right now we have a Droid Turbo over here. Um, it's on Verizon Wireless, so it's factory unlocked right now. And I'm going to be using an AT&T SIM card. Let's power it screen on as you can see I have it already working sometimes depending on the sim card and the carrier when you pop in the sim card it automatically de detects the settings and there is no need for you to set anything up but if you're not getting 4G LTE or anything else like that your texts aren't working you're gonna have to set up the APN so as you can see on top it says 4G and we're gonna be going to the settings I'm gonna scroll all the way to the bottom about phone and you can see it's on Android 4.4.4 it's a Droid Turbo and status you will be seeing it's on network AT&T now we're going to go back so when you want to set up the APN it's usually going to be around the network section on the Droid Turbo it's going to be in more and you're going to go to mobile networks and then you go to access point names which is the APN so if, you're, if you want to set up an APN for, let's just say, AT&T, you're going to be going to the plus sign over here to add one. For the name over here, you're going to change it to ATT phone. So ATT space phone. And you hit OK. And then you're going to go to the APN. You're going to change that to phone. and hit OK. Then you're going to hit menu on the top right and you're going to hit save. Since mine's already set up, I'm not going to be doing it again. But once you hit save, you're going to go back to the main screen. You're going to completely power the phone off. You're going to power it off and once it's powered off, you'll power it back on and you'll be ready to go. Now for T-Mobile, it's going to be the same way you did, but for the name, you're going to be putting T-Mobile and for the APN, it's going to be fast.T-Mobile Com. And you're going to be able to do this for any carriers, even if it's international, uh, depending on what carriers you have, if they provide 4G LTE, and if the phone has the bands for your network, that, then you're going to be able to use it. You just need to set up the APN. Like I said, most of the time, it automatically detects it off your SIM card, but in any case it doesn't, you're going to have to go through this method to set up the APN settings, and then make sure you power the phone off and power it back on for it to activate. Just for testing purposes, I'm going to be showing you guys a few websites. I'm going to load them up. Let's go to Facebook. Just put the full browser right here. Let's go to YouTube. Go to Google. Yahoo. As you see, it's all working on LTE, on AT&T. And again, this is a Droid Turbo with Verizon Wireless. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Please like, subscribe, and a comment below. Let me know if you have any issues, and I'll answer your questions.